how much snow might fall this winter? Well, meteorologist Chris Spears explains what may be in store. Well, NOAA issued a La Nina advisory for the United States last week, and uh, this is a pretty complicated map, so we'll get a little bit closer in here and show you what that means. What La Nina typically brings during the winter is a jet stream that stays to the north of Colorado. So the northern Rocky Mountain region will often be cool and wet. South of Colorado, it's often warm and dry, and well, we're stuck in between, and that means a wide variety of conditions as you go from north to south. Some Sometimes drought can persist and even worsen during a La Nina winter. We tend to be windy, especially areas along and north of I-70. That includes the Front Range, Denver, and the Northeast Plains. The reason why we're closer to that jet stream. And as far as snow, well, it's a tough call, but the most consistent snow typically falls in our northern mountains, places like Steamboat and Winter Park. Winter's still several months away. A lot of time to see how these patterns set up. And of course, we'll follow it for you here at CBS 4. I'm meteorologist Chris Spears.